Hey there, viewers. We don't need to tell you how dangerous cancer is, but it's worth mentioning that early diagnosis is very important. Experts estimate over 57,000 adults in the United States will be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer this year. This constitutes around 3% of all types of cancer. Pancreatic cancer is particularly difficult to diagnose, as people often ignore early symptoms. It's the fourth leading cause of cancer death, and the fewer chances of early stage diagnosis doesn't help either. In today's video, we'll be talking about seven signs of pancreatic cancer people often ignore. Is it dark urine and yellowish skin? Could vomiting and nausea be a telltale sign? Keep watching to find out. Number one, dark urine and or greasy stools. The pancreas is located behind your stomach. This organ releases the enzymes you need to properly digest your food, as well as hormones that regulate your blood sugar level. While things like breast cancer are detectable through routine screening or physical examination, pancreatic cancer is different. Even if you press on the body from the outside of your abdomen, you will not feel the lump or tumor. This makes this cancer even more dangerous, as it has the ability to be sneaky. However, the first symptoms will appear in the form of dark urine and greasy stools. Your liver releases a yellowish-brown liquid known as bile to help your body digest food. Under normal circumstances, bile generally resides in your gallbladder. From there, it travels to the intestines through the common bile duct. Finally, it's removed from your body via stool. But when your common bile duct gets blocked by a tumor, the bile liquid can't be removed, and bilirubin builds up in large quantities in your body. Higher concentrations of bilirubin buildup in your blood isn't good for your health. When there's no other way to get rid of it, bilirubin flushes out through your urine. This gives your urine a dark color and it leaves a brownish stain. Dark colored urine is often accompanied by light colored greasy stool. Since there's no bilirubin left to be flushed out, your stool turns clay colored and greasy. The presence of undigested fat also adds to this. You see, your tumor prevents the pancreas from releasing digestive enzymes. As a result, your body is unable to break down fat content in your food and the undigested fat makes your stool greasy. If you've been noticing this, try and get a checkup done. It's a glaring sign that something isn't right with your common bile duct. Number two, yellowish skin. Whenever your skin looks a bit on the yellowish side, it may be jaundice. Unfortunately, jaundice is one of the clearest signs of pancreatic cancer. When a tumor forms on the head of the pancreas, it blocks the common bile duct, thereby prohibiting bile from traveling to the intestines. It is the bile that breaks down fats, but the blockage prevents this normal mechanism and causes an excessive buildup of bilirubin in the body. As a result of too much bilirubin, you develop jaundice, which is characterized by yellow skin. Your pale, yellow skin and eyes become the most visible symptoms. When you have jaundice, you might experience itching with no apparent cause. As explained previously, you'll also get very dark brown urine, as well as light-colored stools due to excess bilirubin buildup. These three symptoms, yellowish skin, light-colored stools, and dark urine reside together and have a common trigger, something blocking the normal functioning of bile. Many people suffering from glucagonoma, a type of pancreatic tumor, also get red blistering rashes on their skin in different parts of their bodies. So if you notice all of these signs occurring together, get a thorough check done. Are you finding this list useful so far? Well, this next point will surely surprise you. But before we continue, why not subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and hit the bell icon so you're always up to date. Number three, vomiting and nausea. It's normal to get nauseated once in a while. Even vomiting you sometimes can't avoid. It can be due to the hot dog you purchased at the gas station or the party you attended last night. But what's not okay is you getting nauseated and puking every other day. This can be a sign of pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer impacts your digestive system. A tumor on the far end of your stomach can cause partial or complete blockage, which restricts food from passing further into the intestines. This can cause vomiting, nausea, and stomach aches. Experts say these symptoms worsen after eating because the blockage prevents the food from passing easily through the intestines. As a result, you constantly feel nauseated, giddy, and sick. Some pancreatic tumors also affect hormones and enzymes involved in the process of digestion. Due to this, the amount of acid that is released for digestion in our body may increase or decrease, causing severe stomach aches or vomiting. Number four, back pain or abdominal pain. Do you often experience dull pain in the upper or middle portion of your back? Does the pain come and go? Do you feel you have dull pain in your upper abdomen or belly as well? This can be a sign of pancreatic cancer. 
Many pancreatic cancer patients complain about pain at the top of their stomach, exactly below the breastbone. It's a dull pain around the abdomen, which is felt up to the spine and generally all over the back. Cancer tumors that develop inside the body or in the tail of the pancreas can grow huge. They will begin to press against neighboring organs, causing severe pain. There are several nerves surrounding the pancreas as well. When cancer spreads into these nerves, it can cause back pain in the body of the patient. Also, the blockage in the digestive tract that causes nausea and vomiting can be a reason for abdominal and backache. Before we move ahead, here's a video you might like. Want to learn about 10 body changes that need your immediate attention? Watch this video to find out. Number 5. Poor Oral Health Sometimes, bad breath, loose teeth, and inflamed gums are not because of poor oral hygiene. It may be a symptom of pancreatic cancer. In fact, there is a study that links pancreatic cancer to poor oral health. The study found that men with a history of periodontal disease had a higher risk of pancreatic cancer. Their risk of developing it increased by up to 64%. It has also been found that pancreatic cancer patients are more likely to acquire oral diseases like inflamed gums and cavities. Researchers examined the mouth bacteria of both pancreatic cancer patients and healthy people in order to compare and examine the oral health of both sets. They found that if bacteria related to dental disease is discovered, the patient is at a 59% higher risk of developing pancreatic cancer. So you have all the more reason to stay alert about your oral health. Number 6. Enlarged Gallbladder Another symptom of pancreatic cancer is an inflamed gallbladder. When the common bile duct gets blocked by a pancreatic tumor, bile produced in the bladder cannot travel to the intestine. So it remains, causing the gallbladder to grow in size. The gallbladder becomes inflamed and will cause tenderness in the upper abdominal portion. Your doctor can feel your enlarged gallbladder during a normal body examination. Number 7. Unexplained Weight Loss one of the symptoms of pancreatic cancer is a decrease in appetite and weight loss. This happens when the pancreatic cancer tumor partially blocks the food from entering into the intestines. Also, pancreatic cancer can trigger your hormones and enzymes in such a way that it affects your digestive system. You experience a loss of appetite, which eventually leads to weight loss. There have been cases of pancreatic cancer where the pancreas produces hormones that restrict the absorption of nutrients from food. This causes further weight loss and malnutrition. Did you know about these early signs of pancreatic cancer? Do you know anyone who is currently going through this? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video, and enjoy.